uh, it seemed like in the second round, you seemed like you caught him, it seemed like you were getting a little more aggressive, and then you got hit. Can, explain to me what happened in the second round. Uh, yeah, man, um, I thought I had him pretty hurt, to be honest. Um, he was actually hurt, and then uh, that's what I get. You know, I ran into a big shot, and uh, I mean, that's what I get. I, I was impatient. Uh, I thought, uh, and I ran into a over left, I believe, and uh, it didn't really hurt me too bad, though. I got hurt more with Luke Campbell, but then uh, that was that, yeah. It was simple. I, I got impatient and got caught. Uh, Andre Johnson with Zinger News. Uh, Ryan, congratulations, because this was a big night for boxing. Uh, this was a tremendous promotion, and uh, you had a lot to do with that. Um, I, I thought early on in the fight, you know, like round one and into round two, you were very aggressive, and uh, the, the crowd was reacting to it. Um, but when you got caught with the counter um, and you got knocked down, things kind of changed. Um, what happened? Talk to us about it. And tell me about Tank's power. What, what, what did you say about it? I just... Uh... It changed because I, I realized I was being stupid, <laughs> you know, I just started firing shots, you know, I could have just kept playing the same game that I was playing, jab, back up, jab, back up, wait for him to throw, back up, but um, I felt like I caught him with a hard shot when I pressed him with an overhand and a hook, which I did hurt him, um, and then I just started pressing him, and I, again, that's my inexperience, I ran into one, uh, it didn't hurt as much as Luke Campbell, but uh, again, a knockdown's a knockdown, it counts. Got right back up, and uh, we went back to the same game, you know, him moving and me pressuring. But uh, it's all good. I'll learn from it. Ryan, uh, gr great job in there. We're doing very well early on in the fight. Uh, but the body shot, it got in. Why were you not able to recover from that shot inside the 10 count? Oh, it's down, please. Uh, I don't know, man. It just took, it took the air out of me. You know, I just couldn't get up, couldn't recover, and uh, that was that. Simple. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan back here. Early on, right here. Early on, it looked like you were, you were jabbing, working from the outside, and like you said, you were trying to push, you know, maybe get aggressive on the inside. What was that like, knowing that it looked like Tank was trying to catch you with something, and, and why did you feel it necessary to, to take that risk in a fight of this magnitude? I just wanted to make this fight, you know, a little bit more exciting. I, uh, again, that's my inexperience, I guess, at the biggest stage. Uh, I definitely messed up. Um, I should have just made it boring, made a miss, and just kept on the outside. But uh, at one point, I just decided to say, let's start throwing them. And uh, obviously, that didn't work in my favor. Final question for Ryan. Uh, Keith Heidek from BoxingScene.com. Ryan, you, you had mentioned in the ring with Jim Gray, you, you kind of hesitated. Like, you maybe you were going to get up, and then there was something that stopped you. Uh, could you explain like, what was going through your mind? when you almost got up. How close did you come to getting up? How close uh, I was close to getting up for sure. Um, uh, I mean, I ain't got no excuses. I just couldn't get up. Ryan right down here. Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. Even though it was a diff disappointing diff uh, fight for you tonight, where do you feel like you go from here after the, such a disappointment tonight, what, what's next for Ryan Garcia? 140. I'm going to 140. You know, this fight's not going to deter me too much of my dreams. You know, um, I got in there with one of the best. So, you know, we fought. You know, I fought. I, I did what I had to get in the ring. But I, I'll feel much stronger at 140, you know. Um, or even, you know, yeah, 140. So I'm going to feel good. I'm going to go up and uh, fight the top fighters at 140, and that's what I plan to do. Hey, hey Ryan, how's it going? Ellie. First of all, you're a great fighter, a great warrior. The lead into this fight was amazing. What did you and Tank tell each other after the fight? Uh, I pretty much just uh, told him, he, you know, he's a good man. He, uh, he's good at heart, for sure. And I uh, just didn't want him to think that I really uh, felt any way towards him. You know, it's all, it's all business. Uh, we sold the fight great. And uh, it was nothing personal. And, you know, it, we're, we're going to be cool, you know. We're going to be cool. And uh, it was a great fight. I hope to get a rematch one day. Uh, obviously, I got to pile up some wins and hopefully we'll meet down the line again um, and that's that Ryan hi could you please talk about how good Davis was tonight and could you also answer whether you think he's the best lightweight in the world 
Uh, you know, I think my problem was I got a little too impatient. And um, Davis was good. Um, I think he does struggle with activity. I know he, he caught me with a good shot, but I think somebody that is just a little bit more disciplined than me and has a little bit more activity can give him a lot of problems. But, uh, you know, you can't count him out because he has, he has great power. So uh, you just got to be careful with Gervonta and uh, play it smart. I didn't play it smart. I started getting bored in there, and I just started trying to press, and I ended up getting knocked out. So uh, that was my mistake. Okay. Ryan, you always mention, no pues jugar boxeo here, Ryan. You always mention that you are really proud of your Mexican blood. Tonight, the arena at South Point sounds like a Mexico. What can you tell to the Mexican fans that are yelling, giving you the support? Honestly, at that moment, uh, I felt so proud, man. I never felt that in a fight before, you know, them screaming uh, Mexico. And uh, honestly, it warmed my heart, and I appreciate all of them that came in support. Um, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I try my best as a Mexican warrior, and I try to make you guys proud, and I thank you guys for uh, supporting me in the fight. I do. Appreciate you. How much of a step up do you, you feel like Luke Campbell is your best opponent so far, right? Yeah. How much of a step up do you feel he is from Luke Campbell? You know, Luke Campbell, uh, you got to understand it, it causes different problems. He's a taller taller fighter. Uh, uh, his shots will hit me yeah. and then uh, yeah. at a different range. He, he, he has to really come up and hit me. Mm -hmm. It's much different. It's a much different fight. So you never know. This one may, may be easier. You just don't know. Uh, yes, uh, at face value, he's the tougher fighter, uh, you know, on paper, but you just don't know. Just don't know. Okay, so last you, question. You, you fought a couple southpaws in previously, uh, Javier Fortuna and Luke Campbell. Were, were those uh, fights purposely, since you know Javante was a fight possibly looming, and who's also a southpaw? 100%, yeah. I, I did that uh, on purpose, uh, just so I could have, you know, more of a feel for a southpaw where the punches are coming. Uh, and you know everything. Everything was prepar preparation for this big fight. What fighter have you faced is most like Javante Davis? Do you feel most like Javante Davis? Probably uh, Fortuna, but uh, obviously not power, speed, and reflexes. But uh, his height, uh, the way he likes to throw shots, you know, jumping hooks, jumping overhands. Yeah, they're not the same speed or velocity, but that's probably the most similar fighter I've had. And what are you looking to prove in this fight? Uh, just looking to prove that uh, he was never he was never able to beat me. You know those words uh, they're gonna stay true to my heart that when I beat him, you know I was always destined to beat him. That's just what I'm here to prove. Okay. Have Have you ever felt uh, drained of up and coming into a fight? Because this fight you you may have that experience since it's a catchweight and there's a rehydration. Course. All right. Uh, no, actually, I never felt that, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem because. Uh, I feel good. I, I don't like to gain that much weight anyways after the wins. So I, I, I pretty much walk around in the ring at 148, so 146 won't be too much different. 